Hi guys, for today's video I'm so excited because I'm gonna be doing half and half makeup. I was thinking about how different my makeup routine is now than what it used to be. Just from products I used, techniques I used, and what I do now, it is so different. So I thought doing a video where I show half my face like I used to do my makeup and half my face how I do it now would be really cool to kind of just see the difference in products and techniques, how it looks when it's done, what we think looks better. I'm just really excited to see how things have changed because what I like to do with my makeup is so different. I think I'm gonna do the right side of my face with what I do now and the left side of my face with what I used to do. So I'm gonna start with what I do now. I always like to start with a glowy base and I didn't ever used to do this. So this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and I pretty much always start my makeup with this product now. I like to put this kind of like on the high point, so like right on the cheeks, above the brow, down here. Then I'll just take a sponge and blend it out. I always like to start with some type of nice glowy base that can shine through because I feel like this just makes your skin look so much healthier when you start with a nice glowy base. After I go in with a glowy base, I like to follow up with my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. It's actually a tinted hydrating gel cream. And I always use this for months. And one thing is I never like tinted moisturizers. I wanted full on glam all the time and I never would have applied anything with my fingers. Now I love to because I think it makes everything just look so much more natural and really just soaks into the skin really, really well. I'm just going to apply this to one side of my face. So then what I used to do, I didn't ever use a glowy base and I would go in with full coverage foundation. So this is the NARS Radiant um, Longwear. And I do love this foundation. I think it's really good. I just don't lean towards like foundation anymore, which is interesting. And I would always apply this, whoa, <laughs> dark with a beauty blender or some type of sponge. One of the reasons that I stopped using like regular foundation, I'm gonna see if you guys can see this. You can see like the gathering of it here. No matter how much I blend it into my like hairline, it always looked so heavy up there. So obviously this is very dark. That is another thing. I always got really, really dark foundations um, to match my tan, but they're just so dark that I do now is I use the shade medium in Tarte Shape Tape or I use the shade medium 1.5 in the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I still do like to conceal my under eyes really well um, even though I like a lightweight look um, just because I have really dark circles under my eyes and I do like to cover them. Um, so this is where I get really like any coverage and I'll just kind of, I'm using the other side of the uh, sponge, but I'll kind of just blend that part in and then I'll kind of just tap over um, the tinted moisturizer. So if there's any blotchiness or any part that just didn't get as blended or whatever as I would want it to, then I can kind of make sure it is all blended. On the side of what I used to do, I would use a deeper shade. This is the shade Tan Sand um, from Tarte because I found that if I used too light of a concealer, um, it would become really ashy on my face because I used way too dark of a um, foundation. And I remember I would do like all the way up to the side of my nose and then I go all the way in here and I would go all the way out in a triangle <sighs> and then I'd put on my chin, my cupid's bow, 
my nose up here it's kind of hard to do half and half but I would basically do the whole shebang all the highlight and I'm gonna use the side of the sponge that I did the foundation with and I would just blend this out and I liked it to look like you couldn't see one thing under my eye like I didn't want anything showing on my face what I like to do now is I like to use the Glossier cloud paint in dusk and I like to apply a little bit of blush just with my fingers so I'm gonna put a little on the back of my hand one thing about me I never used blush I thought it was just looked so bad I just I hated blush and I never would have used it ever that's something that's totally different now is how much I like blush I think it's so cute I think it makes you look just like really fresh and it kind of adds a little bit of dimension um, to your makeup on the side of what I used to do I would always get blush but I would go in with this Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade 7 almond I would put it on my beauty sponge and I would apply a cream bronzer before my powder bronzer so I would apply this around the perimeter so it's kind of like a starting bronze and then I would take the other side of my sponge and I would dip it in the Laura Mercier powder and I would go ahead and bake under my eyes and my entire face so I'd press this <laughs> Woo! I'd press this on top of my eyes under my eyes up on my nose and then I would just put so much powder remember I'd keep dipping into the powder and I would just set my entire face like this because I didn't want anything to move I wanted it to stay put all day and I didn't want to get shiny so I would just pat this on my entire face okay so this is how we're looking right now this is the side completely matte and then on this side I like to keep it nice and glowy to so just take a little bit of powder on a fluffy brush and just lightly set my lids and under my eyes and a little bit down like the t-zone area and that's it after I have the foundation and powder and cream bronzer I would go in with the Hoola by Benefit and this angled like contour brush from elf and I would pack this thing with powder and I would go and try to get the most chiseled cheek possible I remember I wanted like sharp which is fine there's nothing wrong with any like technique of makeup it's just whatever you want to do but it's just interesting to see how different what I did then versus what I do now you know it's just interesting to see the difference I remember too I would always have a problem where it would like catch and I think it's because I used this dense brush to try and like really get that uh, contour but then it would kind of catch because it's not like designed to do that. I think it's just like trying to pack on so much product when you don't need that much can kind of make it a little bit blotchy. Then I would go over with the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer. I still use this today, but I would pack it on so much and I would go over all this. So this is like the third bronzer and I would pack this one for this side for today I like to just take a little of my glowy bronzer and lightly kind of fluff it um I don't like having a very very targeted bronze anymore I kind of like to just use a big fluffy brush and kind of still put it in like the cheekbones and the forehead area but I am not gonna like angle it with a sharp contour brush I like to just lightly put some of that um, on with a fluffy brush 
And then I will go in with my Mellow Cosmetics palette, add a little matte bronzer just right here to kind of just, you know, add a little, little bit more definition. On this side, I'll take my powder brush, clean it up, make sure it's nice and sharp, and then I would go in with my highlight. So I always used this one from Becca. This is in the shade Prosecco Pop, and it is this really, really shimmery gold. And I remember I really liked a super targeted highlight. So I used this small little brush and I wanted my highlight just on the very top of my cheekbones. I wanted it directly on the tip of my nose, <laughs> which you kind of have to do one or the other for this half face. So I'll just do that. Um, and I would also put it on the Q hoods well as well. Now what I like to do is I like to take a more toned down um, highlight. This is NARS Fort de France. It's just a lot more subtle and I like to take a big fluffy brush and kind of put it all over my skin just to kind of look like it's a diffused glow. Okay, so now for brows. I always, every day, used the Tarte Clay Clay palette and this little brow pencil from the Brow Gal. And I would dip into the shade Dunes, which is this grayish taupey color. I would start down here and I would draw a line all the way down. And then I would go on the top and I would do the same thing. And then I would start to fill in here. And then I would go at the front and I would draw a bunch of lines at the front. I remember I'd always go back into the bottom line so many times. Then I would go in with my NYX um, little brow pen, micro brow pencil. <laughs> and I would kind of enhance the line and make the tail long. Enhance the arch. Just go over any places that I missed. <laughs> so that was what I did for this brow and I would kind of brush it just a little. Um, no brow gel, just left it like that. Now I like to just take a pencil and lightly draw underneath. I will say my technique, I don't really use the powder anymore just because I don't want that intense of a brow and also I use a lot more like little strokes opposed to like just drawing a big line. Up close, I don't like a super sharp tail like on this one where it's dark and sharp. I like it to be just a little more diffused and then I go through and I really brush through and diffuse everything so it looks just a lot lighter if you look at this one compared to this. This is much more of like an Instagram-y brow, which is fine, but now I just prefer something a little bit more light and natural. And then I am gonna go in with some brow gel because now I like to kind of fluff my brows up so they can look as fluffy and natural as possible. I really don't love a brow like this anymore. I just remembered I'd also take that Becca highlight and I would pop it right under the brow because I wanted it beaming. <laughs> so next, I always, always did liquid liner and I used the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I would always do a wing every single time. Now I just pop on mascara. So I'm actually gonna go put this on because I cannot do winged liner on camera for the life of me. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so remember I'd always try to do this short little wing because I clearly have hooded eyes and so doing a wing is really hard for me because my eyes just don't work well with it. So if you look up close, when I open my eyes, it's like you can't even really see it and it almost makes it to me look like it droops my eyes a little bit more. So that's why I kind of stopped doing that and now I literally just put mascara. But another thing I remember I would do is because I spent time on eyeliner, I would barely put any 
mascara on. Like I would just put like that much and I was done. I remember I like never put any time into mascara. Now, because I don't do liner, I like to put a little bit more time into my mascara. I like how eyeliner kind of defines your eyes, but for me personally, I would rather kind of do like a smudged out shadow or something instead because it just doesn't look right on my eyes, I feel, to have a dark wing like that. It just, my eye shape doesn't really support it very well. So this is kind of the difference with eyes. If you look straight on, this is obviously the eyeliner one. This is how it's looking, and then this is just mascara. I mean, I like how when you're wearing eyeliner, it looks like you've done some, like, put in some effort, but I feel like it kind of just darkens my face and kind of droops my eye down. You can't really see my mascara because of that, but if I just do mascara, I feel like it opens my eyes up a little bit more and it doesn't look weighed down. And then I should have done this before, but I just completely forgot. I never put any eyeshadow ever. Um, now, I just like to do like a tiny little bit, which I should have done before mascara, definitely, but we'll just do it ugh, really quick. So I like to take um, kind of like a bright shade like this on the lid, just to kind of brighten up my eyes. Hopefully I don't get mascara all over the place. And then I'll just go in with like this little neutral brown shade in the crease. And that is just gonna give a little bit of definition, but also brighten up the lid and kind of lift it with that bright color. That is how this one is looking. And then on this side, I liked it completely blank with nothing on it. Getting close, it's time for lips. Go in with the MAC strip down and I would line the entire side. And then the entire bottom. I don't want to use some type of nude, so I'm just going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate. And then I would go over with a gloss. Now what I like to do is I like to just add a little bit of gloss and then take the liner and just line a little bit on the outside, not to the edge, and then I blend it. Lips are obviously not going to be the easiest to tell, but you can see I lined the whole thing. I did an opaque lipstick with also the gloss. This side, I like to do a lip liner, but just diffuse it, not go to the edge, and just a sheer gloss. So just a little bit more natural. This is the completed makeup. Let's look in depth, both sides. All right, so this is the how I used to do it. You know, I'm not totally mad. Like, we got full coverage foundation. We got eyeliner, a bold brow, lots of highlight, defined lips. Like, I don't think it's bad. I think it looks glam. It looks like, you know, you did your makeup that day. Um, I just personally don't love so much, like, sharp liner and sharp contour and really thick makeup and really defined lips. Like, it's not bad. I think it's fun to do this sometimes. And it looks flawless, like you can't see anything on my skin. But it does get a little bit splotchy because that powder, I used it so heavily. I remember I always had so many problems with getting this not splotchy. Um, so this is obviously, like, it's glam, it's fun. really fun to do that sometimes. Um, but day to day, I just, I don't want this much product on my skin. If you look really close, you can see the texture that that highlight brings out. You can see how it kind of gets splotchy. You can see how the makeup gathers here and just how dark and sharp all this stuff is. It's just a little bit harsh for me now and I don't love this look as much. Okay, so this is a side of how I do my makeup now mostly. I think the biggest difference is you can truly see my skin through the makeup. So like, it doesn't look as flawless, it doesn't look as perfectly like just like a smooth, perfect canvas of full coverage. You can see my skin through. Um, you can see a little bit of darkness under my eyes here, like this side, it is canceled out. 
this side you can see it um, I like how there's blush here so it truly looks like my skin and like my cheek is poking through I like having a more diffused glow where it just kind of looks like that's what the skin looks like opposed to this is obviously a strip of highlight that I put on but that's just my personal preference I actually like being able to see your actual skin poke through yes this doesn't look like perfect but I'm okay with that you know and then I like the brow on this side just because it's still filled in but it looks more fluffy this one is obviously like painted on and really intense which is fine it's fun to do that sometimes but just for day to day I kind of prefer this side for the eyes I definitely like this one my eyelashes and stuff they're not my favorite thing um, I love having lash extensions because I don't have a ton of lash length and things like that but I personally think this side kind of weighs down my eye and sorry if I'm looking up I'm trying to see in the viewfinder how this looks but I feel like you can't see my lashes because of the liner and so it just looks like a line which kind of closes out my eye with this side I just feel like it's it stays open it's obviously not as defined but it looks awake and open and I don't think it looks as heavy and then if you look at the lips I don't think it's terrible but I personally don't like to drag the liner this is my blush all the way down like this it's fine it's it's not bad it's just I like day to day to kind of diffuse the line and just use like a sheer lip gloss I think this can be pretty like when you're doing full-on makeup day to day I like to kind of blur that line and just do like a little sheer gloss so I'm gonna show you guys just close up the face so you can kind of see full-on what it looks like video comment down below which side you prefer do you prefer the more glam side do you prefer the more natural side I just opt for this side the more natural side more often just because I feel like it's nice to be able to see your true skin through and to kind of just get a little bit of a more natural looking glow opposed to kind of this but I think this is fun too sometimes so comment down below which one you like better which one you like to do um, and if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe before you leave I post every single Monday Wednesday and Friday thank you guys for watching I'll see you in my next video bye